Hey guys, it's me Lucas, and today I'd like to show you how you can turn a button into a real tappable button in Xcode and Swift. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the material framework that I actually showcased in the last video, I think. No, in the second last video. And for this, we just wanna create an object. You can actually use a normal main storyboard. Um, object I like go here and create an object but normally you you would use an IB action for this but let's actually just create a button so let um, button of type I think they call this fab button actually I don't need to do that but fab button and frame GC racked make I think they call it so here we got x zero or actually hundred y hundred and width of what, sixty four and height of sixty four. I think they do it like that, do don't they? Ah, oh, there you go. They do it like this. Okay. Now that we have this, I wanna go and say button dot background color is material color dot rad and then view to add this view dot add sub view button this should show off now oops material color dot a oh, rad dot darken one so let's run this and it should show up somewhere on the screen there it is so you see that is a button that has animations when we click it. That's actually why I like the material framework. But now it's no real button, so you can't do any action if you hit it. So how do we do this? This is really simple. So here we're gonna turn this fat button into a tappable button. And we just call the button and then say add target and now we have a target, an action and for control events. So here we're gonna say this target is self because we wanna turn a button into the target. Then the action, this is a selector and here we're gonna have to actually use the string and give this a name. And the function that we're gonna create later has to have that name. So we're going to just call this here now tap button, I don't know, simple. And then we're going to say here dot and we're going to go for touch up inside, that's a normal tap. And now that we have that, we're going to create the function, but now be careful. Here is a mistake, in a selector the name needs to have those little guys. So if you miss them, that won't work. So we're gonna just type in func now and outside of the other function. So here this is actually a method because we're in a class. Uh, func, and we're gonna call this, what did I say? Yeah, tab button and now we can here inside of the parentheses sender is a fab button. And then we can say, I don't know, print button has been tapped. And if you run this now, wait, no, let me select a smaller, smaller iPhone model, iPhone 4S. That's actually the iPhone that I got. My MacBook is the latest product that I got. It's a month old now. So here, there you go. And when we tap it, it has been tapped, which is actually pretty nice. So there you go, we have now created a tap button. But let's say we forget to add those. Let's build that and we see it crashes. So that really doesn't work. So if you miss them, well, your function or actually your whole button won't have its functionality or whatever you want to call that. So this was a little quick tip and I hope this will help you a lot. So leave in the comments below if there's anything that you will, that you would like to learn or to know. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and we're gonna see us in the next video. Goodbye.